Today, Tsubasa is about to head to school, unsure if he can make it through the massive snowstorm outside, especially with the muscle soreness from skiing the day before causing him immense pain throughout his body. Approaching his grandmother, he hears that Hokkaido will test his determination, urging him to endure the blizzard to become a true citizen despite his determination. As he steps out, the extreme cold renders him nearly speechless. Feeling the immense pain from the harsh environment, he thinks about how Minami is probably attending school effortlessly. Suddenly, a car approaches, taking him by surprise. Overwhelmed, he collapses into the snow, accepting his impending fate. As he thinks he's about to die, his life flashes before his eyes, bidding farewell to Hokkaido. At that moment, Minami, appearing in the flesh, questions what he's doing, insisting he can't walk in such a snowstorm. She drags him into the car despite his complaints about the pain in his body. Inside the car, Minami's mother remarks on the extremely cold day, advising Tsubasa to relax. Tsubasa is astonished to see that Minami's mommy is identical to her. And even hotter, Minami reveals that Tsubasa leaves in a mansion, making the car seem tiny to him. Despite his denial, Minomi's mother realizes he's the young master of Minami. Minomi continues chatting with Tsubasa, painting a picture of their journey ahead. And if she had known Minomi's, mother would have done a better job of putting on makeup. Suddenly, the mother asks Tsubasa if he has a girlfriend in Tokyo, but Minami reaches out to touch his shoulder, causing him to react to the pain. He tells both of them that it's just muscle soreness from using muscles in skiing that he didn't even know existed. Minami is surprised and realizes she should be more delicate with him. The mommy attributes Minomi's endurance and stamina, claiming she could go all day without getting tired. Returning to the previous topic, Tsubasa responds that he doesn't have a girlfriend, prompting his mother to express pity and then ask what he thinks of her daughter. Minami, embarrassed, asks her to stop as she's embarrassing her. Despite Minami's request, his mother continues to praise Tsubasa, suggesting they would make a lovely couple. Minami gives her an angry look, causing his mother to relax and mention that she was just excited to meet him. Bossa notes that Minami gets angry in that way, but it doesn't scare him. Nevertheless, he should still be careful changing the subject. Minami's mother talks about how Tsubasa, being from Tokyo, must find the local weather surprising. Sabesa agrees and wonders why the school hasn't closed. Minami explains that locals are accustomed to the cold, and her mother adds that many children go to school with their parents, especially in winter. The Nami mentions her desire to look cute and wear less clothing, but the winter cold prevents her from doing so. They discuss the high cost of winter clothing, and Minami, unable to afford what she likes with her allowance, expresses her desire to work. However, her mother and father advise her thatch still too young. Observing them, Tsubasa thinks they look like a close-knit family, imagining the challenges of being a local in Hakado. Unintentionally, he praises them for looking cute in their current attire, shocking both Menami and her mother, who blush in embarrassment. Tsubasa apologizes for his inadvertent comment. Later, they arrive at the school entrance and Minami's mother asks Tsubasa if their houses are close. He replies that they're about a 10-minute walk away. She suggests that if he sees a blizzard like today, he should contact Minami and she could give him a ride. After thanking her, Minami's mother compliments Tsubasa on his handling of the situation. Minami, still embarrassed, replies that he only did a little well. As they enter the school, Minami's mother reflects on how even in winter with a blizzard, it still feels like spring for others in the hallway. Tsubasa continues to endure the pain and notices say you're reapproaching. Menami rushes to hug her, despite Sayuri being in pain herself. Tsubasa realizes that Sayuri also has muscle soreness, indicating that he's in the same situation in the classroom. Minami notices Tsubasa wearing the cardigan and blanket she lent him. She asks him what he thinks about it, revealing her jacket and showing off her plot warmer. Wondering if he wears any, Tsubasa is taken by surprise, avoiding eye contact, and replies that he doesn't. He now understands why Minami can wear light clothes. She hands him a pair of plot warmers, emphasizing how serious the cold and Hokkaido can be. 
When Tsubasa holds, the plot warmers, he reflects on the unexpected friendship with Minami, something he couldn't have imagined in Tokyo. Minami suggests he should buy a lipstick, to which Tsubasa advises her to do it after class, using the Hokkaido dialect, surprising Minami as she realizes he is already picking up the local way of speaking. She expresses joy, confirming that he's becoming a local. Like them say, he rejoins them, telling Tsubasa not to take Minami as a role model, mentioning Minami's exceptional qualities. Minami, curious, asks Sayuri what she's talking about. Sayuri responds that she's also 100% laid back, but doesn't use many regional idioms. Nor does she have an accent. She admits she's not good at skiing or winter sports, but there are many like her. Tsubasa realizes that Minami's family from Sapporo uses Hikado idioms, while most of Sori's family doesn't, except for her grandparents. Tsubasa thinks this probably depends on location, family, and age. He notices the handheld console and Sayuri's hands, and she excitedly suggests playing together. Tsubasa eagerly agrees, loudly expressing his desire to play with her. Embarrassing. Savory. She turns away quietly, commenting that he's too innocent, though Tsubasa remains oblivious. He invites Minami to join them, and she gladly agrees. The three of them make plans to meet at Taboo after class. Later, they find themselves in front of Taboo, a shopping center. They showed Sabesa around the fashion and dining sections, as well as a mini supermarket with a variety of meat. Tsubasa is surprised by the size of the place, noting that it doesn't look like a typical shopping center with more space and less noise, allowing for a calmer atmosphere. The trio encourages Minami as she plays a game on the console, and after securing a victory, she celebrates with Sori. When Tsubasa heads to the bathroom, Minami asks Sori if she wants to check out cosmetics, affectionately calling her Orin. Sayuri, embarrassed by the nickname, eventually agrees to accompany Minami to see the cosmetics section. Talking about the expensive cost of colored contact lenses, Sayuri suggests they could buy them together. After discussing it, Sayuri tells Minami that she's a very pleasant girl, and apologizes for being so serious with her in high school. Minami is surprised by this admission and can't help but feel embarrassed. She clarifies that it never bothered her. Subasa rejoins them and they continue with various activities throughout the day, enjoying their time together. After finishing their shopping, Minami mentions buying the shampoo Subasa recommended while Say you repurchase the contact lenses he approved of. Subhasa realizes it's getting late and suggests they should leave. However, Minami takes the opportunity to enter a photo booth. Capturing a moment between the three of them as night falls, Tsubasa wonders if they have to submit their English assignment the next day. Deciding to ask Minami, he checks the back of his phone, enjoying the photo they took. Just as he is about to message her, he receives a response from Minami, informing him that she's in the bathroom. Before he can reply, she sends him a photo from the bathtub, innocently showing her toy and not revealing anything explicit. Tsubasa responds by commenting on the durability of her toy and apologizing for any inconvenience. Minami, finding the situation not as amusing as she expected, decides to spice things up with a more provocative photo, sending a top camera angle photo, leaving Tsubasa in shock. She thinks she may have gone too far, but anticipates a better reaction. Within moments, Tsubasa responds with another message. Tsubasa responds to Minami teasing her about taking her beauty routine seriously and mentioning that her effort in that photo reveals her big mommy airbags. Meanwhile, Tsubasa is frustrated, wondering if his response was the right one to Minami's previous photo. He hears the phone ring, realizing it's a call from Minami contemplating whether to answer or not. He decides to pick up, realizing that, ignoring her, his initial rational option is no longer viable. Menami asks if he's watching her, making Tsubasa look at his phone, only to discover that she has initiated a video call. Nervous, he notices his camera isn't even on, meaning she can't see him. Menami laughs, having successfully embarrassed him. Tsubasa turns the phone upside down to speak more comfortably. The Nami casually asks if he bathes daily, to which he answers yes. She reveals that in her house, apart from her and her mother, 
They usually bathe every two days due to concerns about rising bills. She suggests going to hot springs, playfully mentioning they could bathe together and rub soaps on each other. Tsubasa realizes she's just teasing him, remembering the English assignment. He asks Minami about it, and she realizes she hasn't done anything. Shocked, she loses balance, dropping her phone. Tsubasa also fumbles with his phone, accidentally pointing the camera towards Minami's shining body as they catch their devices. Minami asks if he saw everything, but Tsubasa claims he saw nothing as he was focused on catching his falling phone. Embarrassed, Minami hastily ends the call, and as she gets out of the bath, she reflects on the situation.